Hello and welcome. Yig here. We, today we are looking at Temtem Swarm. This is my third attempt. This game does not like to be recorded for me. <laughs> so, this is a survivor style roguelite based in the Temtem universe using the pets from the Temtem game, and it is fun and there's some pretty cool stuff. So, we're going to go over that real quick and then we'll jump into a match and hopefully we'll make it through the whole thing. All right, uh, this is this demo is up for next fest and hopefully maybe longer, but I know for next fest it's up. So as of this moment and to the end of next fest, there's a demo available. I'll have a link to the Steam page in the description below, so you can even try this for free. If you'd like to help the channel grow, like, subscribe, comment, all that good YouTube stuff. We're creeping up on subscriptions. Hopefully we'll hit that, hit some of those those magic numbers the the thousand right now i think we're a little over 500 but that's been going really fast too so everything's working good so everybody who has subscribed and all that good stuff thank you thank you very much it's actually making a huge difference makes me very happy me and the cat sitting over on my hand over here making it hard to move my mouse both appreciate it very much all right so the meta progression stuff Again, we have, we have, I think, I see the problem is this is my third take, so I don't know what I've, what, my brain's like, did I go over that? No, not in this video. This is basically achievements. So you, it says what you need to do, earn a thousand pan suns in a single match, or in this case, use dash seven times. That's what we're going to be going for today. You also have ones that are directly related to a specific Tim Tim. So that way you get a little bit of difference and you have your general. So then we have skills. Skills are, skill trees are individual for each of the individual Tim Tims. And each one has a slightly different one with a little bit of a different flavor for each one matching up with the Tim Tim itself, which makes it even more kind of unique and, and direct, more direct connect, directly connected to Tim Tims. Uh, the, uh, you know, totally not Pokemon version. All right. So we're going to start this. These, the co-op is already in and it works really well. Um, I saw some people playing it. I, I don't know if it's in the demo. I know it was in one of the earlier play tests and it worked really well. I've seen people play it and it looked, worked great. We're going to go in solo. Now you get to choose from your Tim Tims. This guy is like my, my, he's like, he starts off the strongest and he's got the, and uh, when you look over here, you see he only has one portrait. That means that he cannot evolve. And as you can see from his stat line, he really does start off pretty strong. He starts off the weakest and he can evolve all the way up three times. And he ends up being, I believe, the strongest stat, stat, stat wise. Not necessarily the strongest because some of his mechanics are a little, I haven't managed to put them all together in a way that seems, I need to remember his trait because I have not played around that trait as much as I should. I need to do find more ways to do toxic damage. Now, this one can go two times and is actually a, kind of significantly tougher, but doesn't do nearly as much damage. So, yeah, differences. All right, so we're going to take this one because this is the one that starts with dashes, and I need to get some dashes. We're going to start in the first place. The second place is pretty hard, but even the first place can be pretty hard. Depending on what cards you get, I find that it's this character, by the way, this character I have had a little more problems surviving with than the other characters. I cannot for the life of me ever remembering getting a regen card on this character. And I feel like I've never seen one on. I'm hopefully I'm wrong and I'll get one because it makes survival a whole lot easier. All right, we're gonna go with this. When, like similar to most survivor style games these days, you have a combo system and you actually have it in here and it actually tells you a bunch of your synergies and stuff. So that is pretty cool. And it also gives you a little thing here so you know. So we're going to do that because we have synergy. Yay. This is a demo. We don't want to go too deep into it because it, again, it is a demo and, and it's free. So you, instead of watching me talk about the meta progression for 10 minutes, you can be playing. All right. What are we going to do? We're going to do, we're going to do this. I like this thing, but I got to figure out, I got to figure out the projectiles on this, but I really do like it because it drops buildings on people. And that is always great. All right. Uh, we know some pan suns that we need here. We could increase the damage of those. Ooh, I'll grab that. I'll, I'll grab that later. We'll grab this right now. Make sure we get ourselves some decent damage out because one of the things, one of the few things that I will say, there's no aiming. You don't aim. You just steer. There's a mouse movement, which is a follow. There's also a virtual joystick mode, uh, which gives a lot of options. 
All right. We're going to go that because we want to get some levels on that and get some stuff. Now, uh, there are plenty of... Uh, the upgrades and stuff are really nice. There's, there's, there's quite a bit of stuff to do. There's map objectives that come up after a certain amount of time. And I like those, and I need to not run into things like that. There's, there's a pretty good couple different ways of controlling it. They are, they are all comfortable. Sorry, I skipped, sk I skipped from and then back to a conversation. I apologize. Now I'm gonna go back to keyboard and mouse for a moment. Now the thing about it is, though, the one my only complaint so far that I, that is, um. I don't understand how the aiming system works. Okay, I'm gonna go fire rate, uh, and and that may, that that sa might sound weird to say because it kind of feels weird to say, but it I don't quite understand when the aiming is happening because oftentimes it misses, and oftentimes it seems to shoot at nothing. So, so I'm very confused by that. That's the only thing, and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Is, is there a built-in inaccuracy? Because if so, then that makes sense. Okay, well, maybe maybe I need an accuracy stat or line or something. Uh, but I couldn't quite, haven't quite figured out why it's doing it. I do really like the building, though. The building will get you all kinds of experience real fast. In the beginning of the game, you want to kind of get yourself some damage going because you're going to need it. It This game ramps fast. And it is 100% not afraid to kill you. I feel like it kind of expects you to have a little bit of meta progression already. Ooh, there we go. Get get us some nice cashola. We're going over to the map objective, which is this icon right here. We have all our life, so we're good there. Like I said, I haven't found... I don't remember ever finding region on this character. The... The uh, water character, definitely I, remember, I know you get region on. I think the other one did too. So I think this one has kind of been the odd duck out that it hasn't, uh, it hasn't, oh God, man. You, and, and, and if you don't have healing, you can get in trouble in a hurry. All right, I like the map objectives a lot. I like being able to come over here and do stuff. In this case, we're just gonna fight here. Uh, unfortunately with the aiming system, it can kind of be a, a pain to actually kill things like that because it's hard to tar it's without understanding how it's targeting i don't know how i need to position myself to make sure that this thing is getting the damage because otherwise i'm just kind of chilling around it walking in a circle and hoping to god that everything works out <laughs> and as you can see that doesn't feel super okay fine it doesn't feel super efficient I feel like there's probably a better way for me to do that, and I just don't know it yet. We did do data, and we did uh, did the damage upgrades, so we should do these. Oh, yeah, we'll do data for the whole build. That will work quite nicely, because that will synergize real well, and that will give us less upgrades needed to get us to a decent space. Let's see if we can take some of these things out so we can get to that life up there. All right. We're going to need that. Do we need that? We Eventually we will. Let's do that, though. Oh, let's go grab this cash. The The slow actually does work. It does work pretty well. Uh, I find it doesn't quite slow the boss down enough to, to, to make it like it's something that will save you, but it does put the boss into getting hit with your AOE stuff a lot more often. Like I said, once I figure out the aiming system, I think everything will probably be pretty good. What do we have here? Projectile speed. We're at four on that. Let's see if we can't get that upgraded. There is, I like the upgrade system. It does have your sort of standard survivor style game flair at this point. You know, elites give chests, all that kind of good stuff. Oh, there we go. Slows projectiles. We got, got another one there. That works, that works, that works. Now we can get over to this other one, and hopefully we can get the other one done in just a little bit more time efficient. Yeah, as soon as I figure out that aiming system, it's gonna it'll make more sense. I think that there's probably a range of different AI aiming behaviors, and that's why it's confusing me. Whereas, like, one may be aiming for the highest hit points, one might be aiming for... Uh, let's go ahead and take him out. I don't really want to deal with him and 
this nonsense at the same time. And by nonsense, I mean these are fun. Map objectives are super fun. More games should use these. More survivor games. I like these a lot. Ooh, three projectiles? That'll add quite a bit to our damage. There we go. Oh, no. Let's get out of here. Oh, dashed. Oh, I remembered to dash. Look at that. We've been here how long and I still haven't remembered to dash. All right. I'm going to stand in the summoning circle, but I think I might kill this guy first because I don't really want to deal with him and the summoning circle at the same time. All right. Let's take him out. Oh, no. Why do I not? I, I, I don't remember I have the dash because I don't have the dash on any other character. So my brain's just like checked out. Dash? What's that? That's a thing for other games. All right, let's see. Oh, cooldown to reduction for our for our lovely building. Oh, and they got bigger too. Nice, nice. Let's stop our start our objective here. Now, when you get these, you have to stay in the area. I don't. This one says stay in the circle, but I think it's this black area that you got to stay in because. It doesn't seem to trigger unless you, like, leave, leave, that you've left. And if you leave early on these... Oh, yep, there we go. We're going to do our evolution. Because, look, it cranks up our damage. It cranks up everything. So we're going to take that one. And that is... Now we're playing with power. Now we actually start doing some real good damage. And we start getting a lot of stats. So that is going to work out great for us. Yeah, I like the fact that you actually get to play your Tim Tim. Like, that's my favorite part. I'm just I'm just so happy about it. It actually makes me happy to be able to play that. Especially because do early access and everything with Tim Tim, and there was some really good, fun stuff that was in there. Some of it got a little too min maxi and I, I think I think I'm I'm like the guy who needs like the Pokemon light game. <laughs> Because when you start talking about EV values and all that stuff, my brain just sort of checks out. I'm just like, huh? <laughs> and it's not that I don't care. It's just that my brain is just like, eh, but I could, I could do this just fine without having to go through all that. <laughs> but I also realize, like, you know, tournaments and things like that, like, you really want to. All right, let's see what we get on this next one. Oh, yeah, we can dash for speed, and so that I remember to use it. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to grab that. Oh, where's my recharge timer on it? Where is that? Is that it? Okay, that's it, right below my, bar, my health bar. Okay. I was wondering if there was an indicator. There is. I will have to pay more attention to that as I play this. Yeah, I've actually enjoyed it a lot. Uh, you know, I wanted to get in there and see a little bit... Before I made the video, which is why I'm exhausted and it's incredibly late at night, uh, because I wanted to see how the how you know how how's is it? I know it's just a demo, but if it's something's like super grindy, I would say this: you're probably gonna find in the beginning, like the first couple of matches, it doesn't feel like you make any progress at all because you don't really get a lot of materials. But just hang in there because once you start getting those first couple of once you start getting the first couple of things unlocked and you start getting a slightly wider variety of cards dropping, it kind of takes up uh, that. So it took, I think I, I, it felt like it took about two, about two runs before it was kind of in the, you're cruising along to at least, you know, halfway through the run. Like in the, in the beginning, you can, I could get about, I could get about halfway to three quarters through with before uh, um, some of these some of these uh, some of these stronger cards were open for me. All right, let's go with you know what? Let's do this because if we can evolve it, maybe it does damage. <laughs> and that that that's kind of important. We like for it to do damage. So yeah, my next upgrade is 2,500 of these things. I need to be getting me some dollars and cents, man. Oh, dash. Okay, we got at least three, so we have succeeded in the goal. I set such high standards for myself. Lofty expectations. No, at least I'm using it and I'm gonna have that achievement done, so that'll be one more thing unlocked, and that is always nice in these types of games. That's the other thing. So it was seeing like how fast are the unlocks, and I would say that you get each each new character, you go through a burst 
of unlocks, and then so so right now there's there's those three, uh, and then after that you it kind of slows down a little bit, but it doesn't slow down too terribly. It still feels like I'm getting even uh, unless it's like a really solid fail run, like you know something horrible happens right at the beginning of the run. It feels like I always make it just a little bit of progress, or I make enough of the little pans on coins, which I need to get. Thousand of one thousand of okay. That's a that's my goal. If I can make it from here, from my little pan sons, it uh, ooh, grants some vulnerability. We likes that. So we gotta get a thousand if we can, and we have half a run left to do it, and you get most of your money in the back end. So this might actually work. We didn't take the booster. So I gotta be on my I gotta be on the run the whole time looking for these crates to try and hopefully I don't go the wrong way. Last there was a time <laughs> where was that fruit when I was <laughs> when I was dying? Okay, come on, come on, sir, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, more fruit. More fruit. Why is it all fruit? Why is it all fruit? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Uh, I had actually ran all the way over, like, just cruising along and without, like, paying attention which direction I was going, and I wasn't really thinking about it. And I ended up, like, so far on the opposite side of the map that the map objective spawned on. Felt like I was walking forever. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm going back. Is there a map? No, there's no map yet. Again, this is a this is a demo that just came out, so, like, I... I They've been doing internal testing and they've been doing some play testing with uh, like invited people. So I, I'm pretty sure a lot of the features there's I'm pretty sure they've already tested a lot of features, even ones we aren't seeing here. This is really good, but I'm going to keep going on this because I'd really like to see if I can get those cooldowns. If I can get the cooldown one and stack it on there, I think we're in business because then we'll just have like everything exploding with oh yeah yeah we'll have everything explode just like it buildings falling everywhere i like it because i've actually tested like i've done projectile builds where you do multiple projectiles i've done like this one where we're doing where i'm doing mostly a fire rate at this point and then cooldown if i can get it and they've all been not 100% successful, obviously, but they've all been at least somewhat successful. So they already have some of the balance in there. So this is going to be just a lot. I feel like this is going to be adding and polishing. Mm, do we want to increase the damage or do we want to increase the fire rate? I think we can increase the fire rate because that fire rate is going to come, come up the fastest here. Yeah, so we need that cooldown reduction like nobody's business. That would make that would be we that would be our last card and it would be our best choice. So we may hold out to see if we can get that one. Oh, oh. we need to find money. I am not gonna make it. <laughs> I do not see myself making six hundred pan suns in what is essentially like. Probably six minutes of actual gameplay. And about 20 minutes of menus. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hopefully. Please tell me I'm kidding. Future me assures me I'm kidding. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I do like the... Uh, each map does have right now in this... I don't know if they're going to be random in the... In the... Uh, full release at the moment they they are in kind of a they kind of spawn in a set order and then in set locations so this one is my favorite because this is our pan suns we're making money now which is nice though because it does always happen that we get to make money everything we kill in here is giving us pan suns oh look at us if i could kill faster it would be so great get out of here you guys need to die too. Everybody dies. I'm going to run out of time. All right. Ooh, stim pack all the way up. I wonder if if that will give me... Ooh, more pan sounds. I mean, we're still not going to get a thousand, but we bulked up 200 just on that event. That's pretty, that's pretty solid. We killed a lot of dudes. 
not too shabby. Yeah, it's smooth. Doesn't feel laggy. I haven't had any issues. I haven't had to restart it every two hours. <laughs> you know, none of the strange bugs that tend to be in games during the like very, very, very early access release. Those those kind of bugs happen because you just like you think you've caught all the bugs, and then a thousand people install it and. It's just crazy how fast they're like, oh, and this went wrong, and this went wrong, and you're like, oh my god, none of that showed up in testing. None. <laughs> All right. Let's... Let us... Ooh, keep increasing that damage? Or we can... You know what? Let's, let's start decreasing our invulnerability cooldown so that way I can be invulnerable more. So that way when I'm bad and get hit... We can make up for it. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, it, yeah, like I said, I really do like it. It's The runs are smooth. They're fairly quick. They're fun. I've been able to do... I do want to understand this, the aiming system. Once I understand the aiming system, I think it's going to be great. Or... Here's my theory. My theory is that some things are aiming at a position calculated when the last bullet was shot and some things are aiming at different hit point things oh there she is nessie now ah oh you know i have a dash i probably could have used it oh there it goes look at me i dashed <laughs> so I get the feeling there's a couple of different things going on there. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. And it's sort of a, it's sort of a my confusion thing. Oh, let's do our ultimate thing. Because that's going to, like, hit him with a billion lightning bolts. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right. Let us upgrade that for our victory. All right, victory. You don't have to get too many upgrades. Yeah, you could probably, I think if you had good luck with what you drew, I think you could probably beat it on your first run. I certainly didn't, but I think it is actually possible. So I'll probably have to try that when it comes out in, when it actually comes out in early access. My first game, I might have to keep trying that until I see, because I think it's gonna be possible. All right, so. Once you're done with your run, if you've achieved done any achievements, it'll tell you what you unlocked. Like most games do, we used our dash, which is what I was trying to do. That unlocked, I think, an attack, it looks like. Uh, so we do have more points, so we can come in here. And I am working my way to... I need to figure out what this one is so that I can unlock this. Because this character, this character does not have luck, and luck in these types of games is amazing and probably one of the best statistics in the game. So, this has been Tim Tim Swarm. Again, there will be linked to the Steam page in the description if you want to try this out. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, like, comment, things like that. And I hope you come back for the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. And most of all, I hope you have a great day.